Hey guys, today I wanted to make a quick video on how I make this kind of reel where I put the text on with if there's any kind of lyrics or speak or any kind of text on it. I really like to make this effect and since I switched to DaVinci Resolve it turned out to be super, super easy. So I'll show you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve, it's even in the free version. And if you're interested to know how to do it in After Effects as well, drop me a comment down below and I'll make a video on that as well. But just to tell you, it is a hundred times easier to do in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started and let's jump into DaVinci. All right, so we are inside of DaVinci here. And the only thing that I've done to prepare this video is that I have put in this clip. It doesn't really matter for this video what the clip is. So just taking this mountain one and then I have downloaded a song from Artlist because I can't use any copyright music here on YouTube. So this song has a little bit of lyrics, so let's just quickly listen to what it is. Alright, so there's a little bit of text in the first parts and what I want to do is I want to animate the text so that the words come in one after one. So the way that you do this is that, or the way that I usually do it is first I will drag in a text layer. So I go to effects up here and that drops out this menu, go to titles on the toolbox and then text plus. And then we just drag the text down and what I usually do is I'll just drag the text all the way out and I will get to the inspector up here. And I will just make sure that I have my font that I like to use, which is this one, Poppins, and then Light. And what I do from here is I just usually scrub through the video to look and see if the title fits the entire video or like the text fits wherever it needs to be. And I think for this example, it's all good because it's just in the black area of the mountains, so that's fine. And actually, you might want to drag it just a little bit down like so and then it is in the middle of the mountain. So what we do in that then is we listen for where the music kind of pauses or where it shifts so that we can make small short sentences out of that. So let's just listen through for one second here and switch to the title pane again so we can type in the text. All right so he starts by saying baby I need you back. I do so say Baby, I need you back. And I think we will do I do in a second one. So Okay, so here he says I do. So just like this. Alright, so now we have the first part of the text and I think it even starts like over here. Don't even need the first part of the text. And then what I do is that DaVinci has this cool effect that says right on down here. So it's actually put directly into uh, DaVinci. So you just keyframe the first one. And since we just cut the text so that it starts here, I will just drag this slider down until it only says baby. Then I go forward until I hear the eye. It's right around here and we go one frame back keyframe that so that we still have baby written very important because otherwise it'll try to like type it out go one frame forward go forward to i and we just basically do that for the rest of it so it goes like this okay, this is right around where i need us go forward one frame go to need Here. I'm not gonna make this exactly perfect and usually I might just go back and forth a little bit as well. And here it says back. Like this. this is, let's see how it looks. And then we would do the same thing here. So he says I first frame, I, and then keyframe it. He says do here, so one frame back keyframe it, one forward, two, and then it looks like this. Baby, 
and that's the way you can proceed with the rest of it. So that's basically how I do it. I just wanted to make a super quick and short tutorial around that. As said in the beginning, if you want me to make a tutorial on how to do it in After Effects as well, I did that prior to doing it in DaVinci. I will just tell you that doing it in DaVinci and just making the slider and the write-on effect is so much easier than keyframing in and easing in and easing out and all that stuff inside of After Effects. But I'll have you show you how to do it anyway if you're interested, so let me know in the comments. And that's just it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and I hope it was useful. Until the next time, Take care.